Hi, this is Craig Burt. I want to do a short uh, introduction and or review of punishments and rewards as it relates to operant conditioning. So we've got four different types, but we have to define some terms first. The first thing we need to know is that a reward in psychology is anything that's going to make a behavior occur more frequently. If it causes a behavior to occur with higher frequency, that is going to be a reward. The behavior is being rewarded, even if it's not intentional. Punishment is going to be anything designed or anything that will actually make a behavior occur less frequently. It doesn't replace that behavior with something else. It just makes that behavior occur less frequently. Positive means that we're going to be adding something in order to make either to have the punishment or the reward. It doesn't mean it is good. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that we are adding something. Negative means we are taking something away. Okay. Some of them are going to be very simple, um, but some of them are not counterintuitive because a lot of times people do not think about uh, them, they think about them too frequently as being good or bad. And it's not good or bad, it's adding things or taking things away. And whenever I'm sort of questioning, especially on an AP test, if I've got a question and I deal with it and I'm not sure where to go with it, I sort of I draw up a little punish where I just remind myself that rewards. Right? I know that they're making things that happen more frequently. Punishments are happening less frequently. Positive means something is being added. Negative means something is being taken away. All right, so let's take a look inside the Punnett square and look at how some examples of things that would count as positive punishments, positive rewards, uh, negative punishments, and negative rewards. Okay. Positive rewards means we're adding something to make a behavior occur more frequently. This is pretty easy. Imagine if we tell kids we're going to give you $5 for every time you get an A on a quiz. People like getting $5. We're adding, the something we're adding is $5. And if it makes the getting a, a, an A on a quiz occur more frequently, then it is worked as a positive reward. As long as if we're adding something and making behavior, in this case getting an A, occur more frequently, it's a positive reward. If we talk about a positive punishment, sometimes people get more confused about that. Remember, positive means we have to be adding something, and a punishment means that we have to be making a, the, the behavior occur less frequently. So I used to have a cat and the cat would climb up on the kitchen counter, didn't want the cat on the kitchen counter. And so I added something negative every time the cat got on the kitchen counter. Got a little water spray bottle, right? Just a mystery, it's not hurting the cat. If I spray the cat, cat didn't like it because cats don't like to dry themselves off. So I added something the cat didn't like. And as a result, the cat would not get on the kitchen counter as much. I decreased the behavior, right? Decrease the behavior right, of the cat being on the counter, at least when the cat could see me, uh, because the cat didn't want to be sprayed with water. I added something the cat didn't want, so the behavior of being on the counter went away. Decrease the frequency of the behavior by adding something that the cat didn't like. A negative reward is one of the ones students frequently find the most challenging. Right? And but we are looking for a behavior to occur more frequently because uh, something bad has gone away, right? Something's got to go away. We're taking something away. When I am stressed out, one of the best things I can do is run. If I go for a run, it clears my mind, I sleep better that night, wake up more fresh, better uh, set to attack the next day. And so right? when I run, I feel better. And since I feel better after being stressed, right, the next time I get stressed, there is an increased frequency of when I go run. Sometimes I think like, man, I need to go for a run. And then it kind of occurs to me, oh, I am stressed. The reason I want to go for a run is like my sort of subconscious mind is telling me, go for a run because that will help your stress go away. Right? If it's negative rewards, Oftentimes, they're going to be something that you will do more frequently because doing that thing makes the bad thing 
go away. Okay. Running. Running to get rid of stress. Right? Stress is a bad thing, right? Running makes the bad thing go away. Right? If you get in your car and you don't buckle your seatbelt, your car beeps at you. Right? The beeping is annoying. You want to make the annoying thing go away. So what, how do you make the annoying thing go away? You buckle your seatbelt. Next time you get in a car, you may not even have to hear the beeping. You know you don't want the beeping, so you buckle your seatbelt. Negative punishments. Right? Negative punishments are frequently misunderstood understood by students because students think, wait, that's how I'm punished. Right? Um, like These are good ways of being punished. Um, and they might be effective, right? It's not about the effectiveness or ineffectiveness. It's reducing behavior by making something go away, right? And so this would be time out, right? I have a dog. His name's Major, 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 Major. I named him after a character from Catch-22, but he's a very smart dog. He's a Labrador, and I can actually tell him, like, go to time out. And it makes him sad, but he has a little corner in the room, and he goes and he lays down, and he would rather be up close to my family, you know, looking on the kids and being petted, right? But if he has done something bad, if he's got in the trash, right? Hey, Sam, go to timeout, right? Better options have gone away, right? Better options have gone away. He would rather be doing something else. So in the future, that behavior of getting in the trash goes away because the dog learned that when he goes in the trash, he gets he has to go to timeout, okay? And he knows he doesn't like timeout because timeout is taking him away from other better options, right? Taking away good options is a negative punishment. It's not a bad way to punish, right? It's not a bad way to punish, but it's an effective way to punishment. But when we look at these, we have to remember, it's not about good or bad. It's not about effective or ineffective. Taking something away, to reduce a behavior. Adding something to increase a behavior. Adding something to decrease a behavior. Taking something away to increase a behavior. Right? We just gotta make a match. Thanks, have a good one.